SCIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 6 Chapter 5 Elementary Shapes Page 92 Part 2 5.4 Angles Acute, Obtuse and Reflex we saw what we mean by a right angle and a straight angle. However, not all the angles we come across are one of these two kinds. The angle made by a ladder with the wall or with the floor is neither a right angle nor a straight angle. Next to this we have the picture of a ladder standing against a wall making two different angles. Think, discuss and write. Are their angles smaller than a right angle? Are their angles greater than a right angle? Have you seen a carpenter's square? It looks like the letter L of English alphabet. He uses it to check right angles. Let us also make a similar tester for a right angle. We have the picture of the same next to this. Do this. Step 1. Take a piece of paper. Step 2. Fold it somewhere in the middle. Step 3. Fold again the straight edge. Your tester is ready. We have three different pictures showing these three steps. Observe your improvised right angle tester. Shall we call it RA tester? Does one edge end up straight on the other? Page 93 Suppose any shape with corners is given. You can use your RA tester to test the angle at the corners. Do the edges match with the angles of a paper? If yes, it indicates a right angle. Try these. 1. The hour hand of a clock moves from 12 to 5. Is the revolution of the hour hand more than one right angle? 2. What does the angle made by the hour hand of the clock look like when it moves from 5 to 7? Is the angle moved more than one right angle? 3. Draw the following and check the angle with your RA tester. A. Going from 12 to 2. B. From 6 to 7. C from 4 to 8, D, from 2 to 5. 4. Take five different shapes with corners. Name the corners. Examine them with your tester and tabulate your results for each case. Corner, smaller than, larger than. These are the three columns of the table. Corner says A, smaller than, dash, larger than, dash corner b smaller than dash larger than dash corner c smaller than dash larger than dash and so on other names an angle smaller than a right angle is called an acute angle these are acute angles a picture of a rooftop a picture of seesaw a picture of opening book. Three different acute angles shown with three different pictures. Page 94. Do you see that each one of them is less than one fourth of a revolution? Examine them with your RA tester. If an angle is larger than a right angle but less than a straight angle, it is called an obtuse angle. These are obtuse angles. A house. The rooftop shows the obtuse angle. Book reading desk. The angle formed is an obtuse angle. Do you see that each one of them is greater than one fourth of a revolution but less than half a revolution? Your RA tester may help to examine. Identify the obtuse angles in the previous examples too. A reflex angle is larger than a straight angle. It looks like this. See the angle mark? We have the picture of a clock face showing 
a reflex angle. Were there any reflex angles in the shapes you made earlier? How would you check for them? Try these. 1. Look around you and identify edges meeting at corners to produce angles. List 10 such situations. 2. List 10 situations where the angles made are acute. 3. List 10 situations where the angles made are right angles. 4. Find 5 situations where obtuse angles are made. 5. List 5 other situations where reflex angles may be seen. Exercise 5.3 1. Match the following. 1. Straight angle 2. Right angle 3. Acute angle 4. Obtuse angle 5. Reflex angle The choices are A. Less than one-fourth of a revolution B. More than half a revolution C. Half of a revolution D. One-fourth of a revolution E. Between one-fourth and half of a revolution F. One complete revolution Page 95 2. Classify each one of the following angles as right, straight, acute, obtuse or reflex. We have six different figures shown by A, B, C, D, E and F showing different angles. 5.5. Measuring angles. The improvised right angle tester we made is helpful to compare angles with a right angle. We were able to classify the angles as acute, obtuse or reflex. But this does not give a precise comparison. It cannot find which one among the two obtuse angles is greater. So, in order to be more precise in comparison, we need to measure the angles. We can do it with a protractor. The measure of angle. We call our measure degree measure. One complete revolution is divided into 360 equal parts. Each part is a degree. We write 360 and a small circular symbol on the top side to say 360 degrees. Think, discuss and write. How many degrees are there in half a revolution? In one right angle? In one straight angle? How many right angles make 180 degrees? 360 degrees? Do this. 1. Cut out a circular shape using a bangle or take a circular sheet of about the same size. 2. Fold it twice to get a shape as shown. We have a figure, rather a diagram showing this entire exercise. This is called a quadrant. 3. Open it out. You will find a semicircle with a fold in the middle. Mark 90 degrees on the fold. This all is also shown through the figures. 4. Fold the semicircle to reach the quadrant. Page 96. Now fold the quadrant once more as shown. We have another figure showing this, which also shows the baseline. The angle is half of 90 degrees, that is 45 degrees. 5. Open it out now. Two folds appear on each side. What is the angle up to the first new line? Write 45 degrees on the first fold to the left of the baseline. This is shown in the figure next to this. 6. The fold on the other side would be 90 degrees plus 45 degrees, which is equal to 135 degrees. This is also shown as marked on the figure next to this. 7. Fold the paper again up to 45 degrees, that is half of the quadrant. Now make half of this. The first fold to the left of the baseline now is half of 45 degrees, that is 22 and a half degrees. The angle on the left of 135 degrees would be 
157 and a half degrees. Both these angles are also marked in the figure next to this. You have got a ready device to measure angles. This is an approximate protractor. The protractor. You can find a ready-made protractor in your instrument box. The curved edge is divided into 180 equal parts. Each part is equal to a degree. The markings start from 0 degree on the right side and ends with 180 degrees on the left side and vice versa. We have the picture of a protractor shown here. Suppose you want to measure an angle ABC. We have the figure of a given angle ABC. And we are shown measuring the angle ABC through the protractor. Page 97. 1. Place the protractor so that the midpoint, that is M in the figure, of its straight edge lies on the vertex B of the angle. 2. Adjust the protractor so that segment BC is along the straight edge of the protractor. 3. There are two scales on the protractor. Read that scale which has the zero degree mark coinciding with the straight edge, that is, with ray BC. 4. The mark shown by segment BA on the curved edge gives the degree measure of the angle. We write M, angle ABC, is equal to 40 degrees, or simply, angle ABC is equal to 40 degrees. Exercise 5.4 1. What is the measure of 1. A right angle 2. A straight angle 2. Say true or false. A. The measure of an acute angle is less than 90 degrees. B. The measure of an obtuse angle is less than 90 degrees. C. The measure of a reflex angle is greater than 180 degrees. D. The measure of one complete revolution is equal to 360 degrees. E. If M angle A is equal to 53 degrees and M angle B is equal to 35 degrees, then M angle A is greater than M angle B. 3. Write down the measures of A. Some acute angles. B. Some obtuse angles. Give at least two examples of each. 4. Measure the angles given below using the protractor and write down the measure. We have four different figures, A, B, C and D given here, showing different angles. Page 98 5. Which angle has a large measure? First estimate and then measure. We have two different figures and two angles marked as A and B. Measure of angle A is equal to dash. Measure of angle B is equal to dash. 6. From these two angles which has larger measure, estimate and then confirm by measuring them. We again have two different angles shown here. 7. Fill in the blanks with acute, obtuse, right or straight. A. An angle whose measure is less than that of a right angle is dash. B. An angle whose measure is greater than that of a right angle is dash. C. An angle whose measure is the sum of the measures of two right angles is dash. D. When the sum of the measures of two angles is that of a right angle, then each one of them is dash. E. When the sum of the measures of two angles is that of a straight angle, and if one of them is acute, then the other should be dash. 8. Find the measure of the angle shown in each figure. First estimate with your eyes and then find the actual measure with a protractor. We have four different figures with four different angles. 9. Find the angle measure between the hands of the clock in each figure. We have three different figures showing the clock hands. The first one tells the time as 9 a.m., the second one as 1 p.m., 
and the third one as 6 p.m. Page 99. 10. Investigate. In the given figure, the angle measures 30 degrees. Look at the same figure through a magnifying glass. Does the angle become larger? Does the size of the angle change? 11. Measure and classify each angle. We have a figure A, B, C, D, O showing different angles created. There's a table next to this with three columns as angle, measure and type. You have to fill in the measure and type values for the different angles. Angle AOB, angle AOC, angle BOC, angle DOC, angle DOA, angle DOB. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Soumya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT, New Delhi, India.